All right, everybody, welcome back to Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. I am like 99.9% .9 sure that I got the freaking mic working. So we will see. I'm going to do the first half with the mic, like kind of like on my lapel or whatever. And then I'm going to put it on my hat. Christian has it um, on his hat. And so I'm assuming that maybe this might be too close to my throat or to my mouth or something. And it might be too loud. So we're going to see how it goes right now. But today I'm at Mission Point Park. We are pumping shrimp. I have a pretty big sheephead trip tomorrow where uh, I've got about, I think it's about 10 guys going. A bunch of mad anglers. We're going to have like 10 or 12 dudes. But uh, I'm going to come down here to Mission Point Park. We're going to uh, pump a bunch of shrimp. And we're going to catch a bunch of sheephead with it tomorrow. I'm pretty interested to see how this microphone thing works. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Oh, I see a bunch of little fish right away. It looks like a little smelt or something like was jumping in that jumped uh, around me and I caught him in my net last time. Holy smokes, this water is chilly, boys and girls. Holy shiza. All right, let's see if there's anything hanging around. Holy moly. I'm sure I'll get used to it, but until then, it's going to suck. Phew. I'm definitely not going up to the Cuevos. That is good. that is a no-go today. This water's... Oh, there's one. See him right there? Popped out of the hole. Just suck him. This is... Oops. And that's one of the reasons also why I bring this net. So I don't have to dig my arm way down in the cold water and I can keep my sweater on. Because it gets chilly. I can tell you that. With this water like this. But it's super clear, so that makes me happy. That definitely makes me happy because the holes are easy to see. Oh, there's another one. Boom. Oh. The current took him like right by my feet. There you go, buddy. See that? Three pumps, two shrimp. When the tide's low, water's clear, you can really get a, a good shot of a... Oh, no, no, no. My cord's coming out of, of my pocket. I don't want to get no salt water on my audio, you know what I'm saying? Before I even get a chance to check it out. Man, I gotta tell you guys, water's cold. The water is definitely <laughs> cold. So just, you know, when you're uh, hunting around for these things, there's a few things you wanna know. A few things you wanna, like for example, it's almost more important to know what holes not to pump. Like, let's see if I can show you right here. I see one that's perfect. I don't know if you can see right here. Let's see if I can get down low enough. But right here where my stick is, there's a hole, and then there's a little tiny hole right next to it. That's, I, I think I've pumped one shrimp out of something like that. That is like 99% a clam. So I don't even bother with those. It saves you from uh, wasting your time. Now, if you look at something like this, see how this one right here? He's just kind of alone, sitting by himself. They're almost always alone. So you, anything that's off, separated from everyone else, just kind of chilling and it's a little bit bigger. You don't usually want to find something really small because sometimes you will get a small one. But most of the time it's nothing, so you want, you know, about the size of a dime, kind of solitary. Whoo, the water is cold, and it does not guarantee that there will always be one in there. What's up? Dude, the water's cold, bro. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, I walked, I'm just, I'm doing my little, I was doing a little talking or whatever, and I'm just walking out here, I'm like, we're not going up to the huevos today, like, I'm not, no, we're staying well clear of that water line. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, good to see you as well. I didn't know if you were coming down or not, I was like, hell, he's retired, so maybe he'll decide to come down. Yeah, 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 I was just gonna, you know, I figured, why not get bait? It's more satisfying when you catch them yourself. Oh, yeah, dude, and they're almost always guaranteed to be decent size, like, oh, yeah. sometimes over there they're good, sometimes they're tiny. And the t I, dude, the, actually my PB came off a pretty small one, but 
I personally like them the bigger the better, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just, I just think they might be more visible. And they might stand just a little longer, you know? Exactly. Exacto Mundo. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Sometimes it's like you can almost tell if you do this a while, like, okay, there's one in there. I think I need to put this on the other side because it keeps getting in the way. Little net. Come on, man, just get in here, dude. I gotta figure out a system for this thing. Well, let's see what we got. We're over here. Tide's getting almost all the way low now. I'm getting pretty close to the eelgrass right there. So let's see what we got going on. Still a little murky over here. One. There you are, little buddy. Yep, I was like, if I get one, he's gonna go rolling, and he did. <laughs> Barely saw him. Oh, missed him. Where'd he go? He might be gone, gone <laughs> in the tide. Saw him. There you are. Hello. Now let's see if the sucker's still recording. I don't know if like. If I, ah, uh, crap, my thing just fell. But it's still recording. I don't know, maybe if I stop talking, it just stops. I don't know, I'm gonna have to learn a little bit more about it, but we shall see.